And out of this, the aftermath of a deadly crash. People in Stockton picking up the pieces after a driver plowed right through their yard last night. The driver had been shot, then crashed and didn't survive. Tonight, people still shaken up and now coming together to help clean up the mess left behind. Piecing the side of the house back together. Quite a bit of cleanup at Alberta Gutierrez's home in Stockton, where a car jumped the curb and plowed right through her yard. And he went around like this real fast, it jumped and went on the lawn over there. And then from the lawn, he came directly and went right into the, the backyard. To the backyard. <laughs> Just a regular Saturday evening on this quiet cul-de-sac off Prentice Court near Plymouth Road, neighbors rushed in to see what was going on. He went underneath this car, and his I guess his foot was stuck on the gas pedal full speed, and the tires were just spinning. This is very shocking. It's crazy. Stockton police say the driver, a 58-year-old man, had been shot. Crews rushed him to the hospital, but he passed away. We talked with one man who says he worked with the victim in construction for 25 years, describing him as a nice man, a father of two grown sons. Yeah, he taught me everything I know. Yeah, it is. The world just gone to hell, man. It's sad, and it's heartbreaking. And you know what? That's what it makes people, I think. I don't think it's anything else. I think it's just so sad that people are coming to this. And I was getting ready to walk out because I was going on a bike, and God, some, for some reason, said, wait. So I backed off and closed the door. Otherwise, he would have hit me and my dog. A tight knit neighborhood reeling from such a scene, but coming together to pick up the pieces. Now, I really feel sorry for the, the people, his family, and stuff like that. Something like this shouldn't happen. It's awful. I feel sorry for the man. I prayed for him, but he didn't. He, he passed away. Stockton police have not released the name of the victim. They don't have a suspect or a motive. They're hoping witnesses will come forward as investigators try to figure out what led up to the shooting in the first place.